we've just created a logo, a simple logo for a website. The next thing we need to do is place the image, the logo, into the images folder. So here's the folder that I've been working with, the civil rights logo folder. I have it on my desktop and I need to put it into my website folder. And this is it right here. And here's my images folder. I'm just gonna double click on images and I'm gonna go over to my civil, I'm gonna go over to my civil rights logo folder and find the, the, the two logos I just created. And I'm gonna hold down on my option key on, on the Mac and drag it into my images folder. And I wanna make sure that it's there. Let's see, is that it? Well, that's the original one. And here's the new one. And then I want to find the second logo that I created, version two. And I'm going to click on that and put my finger down or hold down on the option key on the Mac and drag it over to the images folder. And now I have the two updated folders there. The next thing I need to do is launch Dreamweaver. I'm going to close out my civil rights logo folder and go ahead and launch Dreamweaver over in my dock. Just click on it to start it. You can just click out of the window and here's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to drag my, my about HTML file into Dreamweaver and then my index file. to launch it. The first thing you need to do is make sure that the properties panel is turned on. To do that, as you can see, it's right now it is not turned on. So go up to the window and click on properties. And now the properties panel is now open. Just so everything is the same, this is the window for Dreamweaver. Currently, I'm using beginner, the beginner window, because it's easy and simple to use. I am in split view, meaning on the left, I can see the visual part of the website. And over here on the right, I see the code aspects of the website. And then over here are pa other panels and items for the website. The very first thing I want to do is make sure I'm in live mode and not in design mode because if you're in design mode it'll look something like that and if it looks like that go back to go to this button here where it says design and make sure you're in live. Now we're going to update the logo. Here we are on the index page. First thing you need to do is click on the logo and there'll be a little blue line that surrounds in this case, it says .img responsive. Now go down to the properties panel and click on browse for file. Find your website folder and then look for your images folder. And we're looking for the new logos I, I, that were just created. I'm gonna go with version two and then select open and then command S for save. And that image has been updated and that's the new logo. I'm going to go now to my about page and do the same thing. I wanna test which logo I like better, but it's a good practice to have the same logo on each page. Click on the image, go down to the properties panel, click on the Browse for file. Make sure you're in the right location for, uh, where your their images folder is located for your website and not another location. I want, let's see, there we go. There's the logo with the red banner and I'm gonna click okay. And then command S to save.
and then I want to look at this and see how it looks. So I go over here to the preview button. It's a picture of the globe. Click on it. I'm going to use Opera for my browser. And this is the about page with the red logo, but we're the red bannered logo. And then we'll go to the index page and it has this logo. There you go. That is a really simple logo. Uh, this is a responsive design. So if you were to make the width of the web browser smaller, you would see that the website changes. So this would be a view approximately that you'd see in a tablet and then larger and then when it's the width is narrower, it, it has this small uh, menu. Okay, and now we're on the about page. And you just pull the width. So there's two different versions of the logo. It was simple to make. Go to Photoshop, make PSD logo first with the appropriate size and then save it for web and then go to Dreamweaver and then import your logo using the properties panel and don't forget to save. Okay, this is Jeanette Walsh. I hope you have a better understanding on how to make a simple logo for your website.